Good evening. Hello, Good evening, teacher. How are Hello. you? Not Good evening, better, teacher. Good evening. Better. better. Have you gotten better. sick? Yes, I was. I was sick. Uh, really? I had a uh, yeah, COVID. What? Yeah, yeah. But it was it was nothing for During you. During the this classes. Really. Mm. More or less. Okay. I try to stay here. Okay. Are you going to, to work to your job? Every day? Yes. 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 I I I I work this I began this 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 week. Okay, and you have been using the public transportation the bus? Yeah, yes. Is it crowded? It's a, it's a risk, but it's... Always wear your mask, get some alcohol all the time. Just take care of yourself. But... Mm -hmm. But I um, every day drink my tea. Oh, your tea. tea. Okay. <laughs> it's, if you yes, only it's a good medicine. <laughs> yeah. You only, you only said every it's day I better. drink. <laughs> okay. Alcohol too. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> or wine. Or wine every night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. British actually drink a, a cup of wine every every day. I don't know if they do it at night or what. They also they also eat oatmeal. I heard from um, from a German friend that they typically uh, have oatmeal for breakfast every day. They said it's good. With your breakfast? To eat oatmeal, just oatmeal every breakfast every day. Oatmeal, yeah. Oatmeal. Mm -hmm. With, le with lemon? No, no, no. Oatmeal is like quaker. Avena. No, you don't like it? Ah! No, babe. <laughs> mm. No, I don't, I don't eat in oatmeal. You don't no. like eating oatmeal, okay. What's the healthiest food that you eat? Or are you eating healthy? Well, um, every breakfast, I drink uh, um, cheese. This with green tea or uh, lemon tree, lemon tea or mm -hmm. uh, what do you say? How do you say? Agria, mm, orange, sour, sour, naranja. sour orange. Really? Sour. Yes. Yes. I. But I have a, a, a juice. Tree. A juice. Oh, really? A juice. Yeah, in my garden. Mm. Yes, and I care uh, uh, vegetables, my own vegetables, and uh, really? fruit. And I. Yeah, no, no, no. Just I have in my garden have mm -hmm. uh, vegetables. Oh, you yeah. grow? Do you grow vegetables on your garden? Yes, yes. Oh, like uh, onion, radish, tomato, lemon, so carrot, so lettuce. Yeah, yeah. Too? But it's a little lettuce. <laughs> lettuce. Yeah. That's so awesome. I have a um I have a um, herbs like uh herbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um I don't I don't know what do you say what do you say? How do apio. you 
How do you say Apio? Apio. apio. Parcel. No? Parcel? No, parcel is, is perejil. Yeah, parcel is perejil. Salary? Sa sa salary. Salary, yeah. Salary? Yeah. <laughs> salary. <laughs> salary is what yeah. you earn every month. <laughs> every every <laughs> yeah. two weeks. Yeah, I know. I used to say salary. So, in, in another uh, other other vegetables. Hmm. Like awesome. this. I always I always wanted to become a uh, vegetarian, you know, just for a while. But I don't know, it's difficult. <laughs> Especially for me, sugar <sighs> sugar is what mm -hmm. is killing me right now. And and the yeah. worst the worst part is at night after this class, I go out, out of the room, you know, to breathe some air. And I feel uh, this craving for sugar. I, I I have I'm having this craving for sugar every night, every night. So I'm struggling with with this craving at night. I have to eat something sweet. <sighs> so that's the way. Okay, everybody's here. Man, nice. It's, it's danger for the yeah. It's bad. It's bad to eat sugar at night. Okay, we are twenty. Yeah. Welcome. Okay, let's start the class. I'm going to do the attendance. It's 806 already. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. Ooh, okay. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Erika Beatriz López Morales. I'm here. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Okay, we're staying 10 minutes tonight, Irwin, after the class, okay? Okay, teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present, teacher. Fredis Vladimir Cortés López. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Linda Laura, no, okay. Amos Alfredo Garcia Granadino. Present teacher. Welcome back, I hope you're doing better. Thank you. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. And. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present, teacher. Estefanía Carolina Reyes Sánchez. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Good evening. Good evening. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Is he here? Not yet. Okay. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Thelma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, so to start the class, we're going to do a little dynamic here. So the main topic, what was yesterday? What did we talk about yesterday? What is the last thing you remember about yesterday? Imperative we reported speech. Mm -hmm. For example. And interpreters. and interpreters. Yeah, we were talking about interpreneurship. Let's start with that. What vocabulary do you remember about interpreters or interpreneurship? Uh, copyright. Uh, copyright, okay. What else? Startup. Profit. Startups. Startups. Attend. Attend. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Side hustle. Side hustle. Side hustle. Uh huh. Tire market. Tire market. Tire market. 
wait, tire market? Or tie, tie, tie market. Capital Adventures. Okay. Excellent. Networking. Networking, true. Venture. Venture. Life is venture. Mm -hmm. That's it? Okay. Now, talking about imperatives with reported speech. Can you give me an example? Or shall I say, give me an example? The Turn. teacher ordered us to give us an example. To give him an example, yeah. <laughs> Good, the teacher ordered us to give, us an, to give him an example. Okay, Turn on your cameras. Even in order. Mm -hmm. The teacher ordered us to turn on the camera. Okay, the teacher ordered us, the teacher ordered everybody to turn on the cameras. I have, let me see, two, four, six, teacher, seven, seven teacher, students with the camera off. Mm -hmm. Teacher, uh, one moment, please. Uh, um, I private in this moment. Okay. Uh, uh, yes. Yes, uh, uh, I, uh, be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay be careful. Is nice. There, yeah, Jarvin. In a few minutes, I'm going to turn on my camera because I just finished my university class and I take it to dinner. I'm having dinner. Repeat. Oh, I'm, yes, I have, I can... I, I'm having dinner. Excellent. That's right. I'm having breakfast, I'm having lunch, I'm having dinner. Okay, let's do a little dynamic right now. Tonight, we're gonna start talking about some vocabulary, useful vocabulary when you place an order online. Have you ever bought online anything? I guess you did, right, at this point. Who hasn't? Who hasn't bought something online? Who hasn't had the experience? buying something online nobody okay everybody has made purchases online so let's do something i will share my whiteboard and i want you to grab your annotation tool it should show the form of a t for text okay so you can type on the screen Feel free to annotate and give me terms for online purchases. The screen is yours. You can start typing on the screen. Go to your Zoom tools and there should be um, a text option. There you go. Check out Fernando. Okay. Mm -hmm. terms words that you use when we talk about placing an order online if you go to the three little dots at the bottom right hand corner of your cell phone you shall find the annotation tools stefania reyes nice close Try it, try it. Okay, Fernando, C, what is C? Coupons. Oh, coupons, do it again. Like that. Oh, there you go. Coupons, okay. <clears throat> Discounts. Payment, Blanca, good. Discount. Discount. Rewards. 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 Rewards for buying online. Yeah. 
What about refunds? What? Refunds. Refunds. You, uh, uh, refunds. And yeah, when you uh, turn back uh, a thing that you don't want to, you, do you want? Do, do, ah. do you want to change? Okay, go ahead. Type it. Refund. It's because um, I don't know how to do it because I'm using my cell phone. Yeah, go to the little three dots. You will see three dots uh -huh. at the bottom right hand corner. Okay. And it will show okay. you the annotation tool. Annotation tool. See, should I try and I am from my phone too, but I, that it doesn't appear well. I don't know if I am the one who. Exactly, I didn't find it doesn't it. appear because. Uh -huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, I tried and I, I couldn't do it. Freddy's, you almost got it. Really, Edwin, Jocelyn. Okay. That's weird. It disappeared chat yeah. configuration. It's, it's weird, okay, but it's true. We, we, we couldn't do it. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's the version of That's Zoom. Pro, pro, uh, probably that. But that may be it. That may be it. That may be it. Okay, sales, service, duty. You can even select a font. Make this make the letter bigger or choose a color. Everybody else, I'm just waiting for you. Exchange. Exchange. Yeah. Okay. Refund. Exchange. What is an exchange? I guess it's when you already got the the product that mm -hmm. product that is already chain. And then that. and then you want to exchange it. Be careful. There's a difference between change and exchange. Mm, okay. Uh huh. Change is just a change for another item. Okay. Change your order. But an exchange is give your item for another one of the same, could be same one. Rating, okay, rating. We have mentioned this many times. Come on guys, feedback. Rating, service, exchange, refund, sale, rewards, discount, coupons, payment, checkout. Come on guys. What else? Feedback, is feedback. feedback. Yeah, re returning information. That's right. Order confirmation. That's right. Auto post. Auto post. Okay. Shipping. Yeah. Shipping. What else do you have to include on the purchase? Teacher, teacher, what is what is exchange? Exchange. Exchange. Uh, exchange. This, I give you this and you give me this. Exchange. Uh, literally, literally, intercambiar. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Change, cambiar, okay. intercambiar, in exchange. Uh, payment method, order number, order confirmation, <laughs> aeropost, rating, shipping. What else do you have to include on the on the payment? Taxes. You got it. Taxes. Okay. What else? Oh. Income, mean, Luis, uh, you mean income? Mm. But income. Terms. Uh, inco terms. Um, you went too far. No, inco term is like, uh, I don't know, it's, it's not part of a regular purchase online. <gasps> no, I deleted everything. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay, Bill. yeah, Inca terms will apply. Bill. Okay. What's my total? What's my bill? Mm -hmm. What else? What else? How do you pay? What forms of payment can you use online? Wish list. How do you call the thing where you put your items online? Uh, card. The card. Very good. Or shopping cart. Shopping cart, uh huh. Wish Proof list. What? Proof of purchase. Proof of purchase or 
In other words, mm -hmm. you received. Received. Shipping method. Shipping method. We say shipping somewhere. Yeah, shipping, but not shipping method. Okay. Or shipping others. Shipping method, and that will be the delivery address. What is another address that you need? PO box. No, no, no. What's another kind of address? Yes, it, an address could be a PO box or shipping address. Uh, yeah, we got shipping, well, a home delivery address, shipping address. What kind of addresses do we have? PO boxes or? Or? Physical. Which is? <laughs> mailing address. Okay. And there's a billing address too. So it could be three different kinds of addresses. The delivery address, the billing address, okay? That's two different things, I'm sorry. Um, mailing address could be different as well. Shipping what? Shipping status, yes. The shipping status. Okay. That's true, the shipping address. Mileage, what's the distance? Okay, pay amount. Charge. What? Charge. Charge. Okay. We're getting there. What else? Charge back. Charge back. Yeah. Okay. Let's define these things. Uh, charge invoice. Good. Charge back. Okay. A charge back could be a refund. Okay. Um, do you know what is void? or avoided transaction? Mm, yes, it is a transaction that it was not, not completed at all. It's just like a pending transaction that the oh. money will return as deposit balance, no, not as a refund. Voided is like canceling the transaction. Yeah, a pending transaction could be a hold, a hold amount, a hold amount on your card. Sometimes you go to, a, for example, a gas station. This happens very often at gas stations, hold amount or an amount of um, a held amount. And they are typically released. Oh, that, that's another word, funds. Do you have any funds on your card? Do you have <laughs> funds on your card? Is My there, is there an, is there available balance? It's another synonym, synonym for funds. Okay, available balance, uh-huh. And there's a lot of vocabulary. What forms of payment do you know? What methods of payment? PayPal. PayPal is one of them, yeah, uh-huh. Automatic payment. Auto pay. Oh, auto pay. Yeah, automatic payment. The Americans typically say auto pay. Can you mention um, a service that is in auto pay or that will always try to put you on auto pay? Da -dum. <laughs> it's a TV service. Uh, Sykes? No, is what is the name of? This company we give us the cable to see the to see the matches. Uh, Sky. Sky. Okay. Auto pay. Yeah. What about Netflix? What about Uber? They always want you to be on auto pay. You know, save your card information. Hmm. Oh, another way of saying auto pay is recurrent payment. Google Pay. Google Pay? Oh, you know what? Nowadays, there are wallets. 
is that the proper writing? Yes. Wallets. You have the Android wallet or Google wallet, the iPhone wallet or Apple wallet. I'm sorry, the Apple wallet, the Google wallet. There are many wallets that you can use nowadays. You just load them with your debit card and you have the wallet and they just scan, they scan a barcode yeah. or a QR code, right? Yeah. Hmm? Which used to be a barcode before. Mm -hmm. Man, there's a lot of things. Okay. Anything else? What about credit cards, debit cards, pre prepaid yeah. cards? Auto renewal. Oh, okay. Auto renewal, which involves fees, annual fees, or monthly fees. Okay. Credit cards have annual fees. Oh, how do you call the action of taking money out of your card? Just for general knowledge. What else? Mm. It's come. No, to take money Charging. out of your card. Withdraw. Withdraw, yeah. Withdraw is retirar dinero, right? Like that. I'm, I'm withdrawing money. I'm withdrawing money. The past of this verb is withdrew. Withdrew. And the action itself. You can, or the noun should be withdrawal. So there is, a, there was a withdrawal. There was a withdrawal. Oh my God, sorry. Withdrawal. There's a withdrawal on my debit card that I didn't do. There is a withdrawal on my card that I didn't do. That's what many people say. There was a withdrawal at an ATM. Oh, by the way. It's not automatic cashier, it's ATM. Okay. What about money transfers? We can mention Tigo money. Mm -hmm. Some Americans, some Americans still use wire transfer, wire transfer which is a term for sending money to someone electronically. They say wire transfer still. Okay. Okay. So all of these are words that we can use on placing an order online. Okay. Third party. Try to use this word as well. Third party service, third party, a third party domain, a third party website, and so on. Questions? No. Okay. Okay. Time is it? Van decline can be too. A decline? Oh, yeah. The transaction was declined yeah declined transaction my transaction was declined my card was rejected my card was rejected risk is risk yeah yeah your information is at risk okay and then I mean that that's another thing. I mean fraud. Um, how do you call oh identity theft? We saw it before, right? Identity theft, theft, theft is like a Z theft, identity theft, theft, theft. Okay, so all of these are words that you can use when you talk about placing an order online. Um, what we're going to do just to start up, to warm up in groups is, um, I'm going to take a screenshot of this right away and send it to your WhatsApp. We're going to have a conversation in groups 
about how to place an order online. What has been, and this is the question, what has been your experience placing orders online? Um, for example, I remember I placed an order on this website called um, East Bay, eastbay.com. I bought some shoes in 2012, I believe, something like that. I bought some Nike shoes for like $50 and they ended up, they ended up worthing, worthing about $75 after shipping. But they worth it. They were very good shoes, actually. Nice shoes. Um, I love them. And and lucky, luckily, luckily, um, they fit me. They fit me because it was like 10, 10, 10 and a half, something like that. So in that size, I was 10 and a half. And luckily, they fit me because I have, I, I well, I used to have six, six fingers on my feet you know i had i had six fingers on my feet when i was a kid when i was four months old when i was when i was four months old they they cut it so bye bye finger <laughs> that is special i am <laughs> okay so yeah that's the, that was a nice experience actually um what else oh i ordered some things from for computers once through Amazon, I ordered some fluffy cats for for one of my kids when he was a baby. A cat that is a pillow, you know, and it has a, some sort of lash or something. So it, it transforms into a cat and into a pillow. Have you seen those? No, no kind of. So I, I don't know. It was a stupid bite. I mean, I just wanted to buy something, you know to try buying online. That was a long time ago. But recently, uh, I haven't placed any orders. Um, are you excited to buy online, anybody? Is there any website that you recommend? Like, wow, this is an amazing website to make purchases. Three, two, one, Fernando. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, I have experience buying uh, um, at the Express, eBay, Amazon. Maybe uh, that it depends that the, the how do you say the time that you can wait for for a product. For for example, if I I want to to get a product faster than because I I need the product right now. I prefer to buy in Amazon and pay some third party logistics like UPS or FedEx because uh, that is very important, the time. But if I can wait wait uh, more time, I prefer the credit card. All the products are cheaper there. So, Excellent. Yeah, it's true. I can wait longer. Yes. I can wait longer. OK. That's what I want to hear from you. So placing an order, now you can talk to your classmates like this, for example, you know, placing an order through a leave of eyes, easy. I mean, they just ask for your general information, your billing address, um, the form of payment. You can use PayPal, you can use, I don't know what else, pagadito.com, I guess, <laughs> and many other things. Uh, you can use your Chivo wallet too. I mean, just talk about, your experiences placing orders online. How did you do it? The process step by step with your classmates, okay? Okay. Okay. Let's do it.
and so good evening Tama. good evening Oswe. okay we got to talk about the experience i remember that i bought a uh, uh, a surface on Microsoft many years ago, and I had problem with the uh, payment method. Uh, the first time I tried to do on website because they had a big discount there, but by I can't, I didn't, I didn't do because I don't know what it was the problem with that credit card. At the end, I called to the support and they helped me. And I remember that the, the girl told me, do you need to, if you want, you can give me the, the credit card and I'm going to put the order for you. At the first moment, I remember that I feel nervous because it's really unsafe to do something like that. <clears throat> but I, I need it. That's why I decided to give my number. And she put the order and I and she paid for me that that surface. Um, but just when I finished the 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 call, I I called the bank and I report that credit card because in that way they can't use any places. Uh, but it is something that I don't recommend anyone do it because I is a uh, that was a second card that is almost you have a specific month a, a, a specific money that you are you can assign at that credit card. That way I knew that the payment that I did was enough to fill that that amount of money that, that that credit card had. But at the end, I didn't have any problem, but I don't recommend. For example, I have a credit card that I regularly increase or decrease the, the money that credit card had, have that permit me to be it permit me just limit how many dollars I can use or someone can take out that credit card. But it's it's Are there uh, many problem with a uh, with a uh, um other cars for for example not no, no, no credit card, but um, if you, do you, do you have a additional card yes, into credit card? Mm -hmm. mm, probably. Uh, there are any problem about this because my boss, had a problem about this because they uh, he he he, uh, he have two additional car into credit card and uh, the bank um the bank make um extra church about this yeah and uh, because i i say uh, uh, do you have any problem any problem because you have to addition to have additional card do you understand me Yes, maybe that is a risk. Me, me, me truth than I have for buying in that kind of platform. Is, is, well, maybe, when I buy, 
and maybe some clothes. Mm -hmm. I prefer going go to the to 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 the. I am going to shop. A physical store. Physical store, yeah, a physical store. Because maybe the size is correct that I I want or I don't know. If for that reason, then I, I don't like to buy. Uh, for 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 that platform okay mm -hmm. yeah when you are buying clothes or shoes you have to check the table of measures uh, uh last year and december i bought a pair of shoes in in alibaba and i am very happy with my shoes <laughs> i love that shoes <laughs> uh, yeah uh, and uh, I, I don't, uh, I, I didn't see any pair of shoes in the country, mm -hmm. and and I'm happy with that. Uh, but you have to check the the measures, the table of measures. Yeah, yeah, you are right. Doris, we have a Doris. Hello. Well, well, in in my case, for example, uh, I prefer. Uh, visitor or the wayside for what for for about uh, for example in my case i i have to bought a stove and uh, i saw the in wayside different stove and different stores but i decide visited physical store because uh, I asked the seller uh, something about the, the, the stuff, the signs, color, materials, and, and sellers uh, tell me is, uh, about the, uh, about the, 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 the stop in, in, in today after after the course go to the uh also the stop in the physical store and the, the seller explain me the uh, the different uh, different uh, qualities of the stuff or uh, I yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought the stuffing, uh, but I prefer I saw the the iron in physical, physical. No, no online. It's different. I see yeah. the, the 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 the. So the uh, Do you like to touch the, the touch thing in, in the announce in the in all x so when uh I have a customer uh, and he told me that he's going to buy my phone in two hundred dollars so we were we were happy because he we put the phone in in two hundred twenty. 220 so he is going to give us uh 20 dollars so my friend i was we were working so my fr i was i was busy and my friends in my friend says hey i can go because because the, the customer says we we can meet you on the gas station so but and in that time i couldn't go so my friend says to me i can go for you and he went to the gas station to meet to the customer and, and he told me, my friend told me there was an old man and he, and he gave, he, 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 they, he gave the money to my friend, the $200. So he gave the phone and actually he returned, my friend returned to, to me and gave me the $200. But the surprise for me was the $200 were fakes. Ten bills in twenty dollars. That was a rip off. I, 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 I could not. But the, 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 I count the money. I count the money. One, two, three. It was ten bills of, uh, of twenty dollars. 
So I told my friend, hey, go to the go to to buy uh, to the uh, uh, some tacos. Then he was he he told me like almost he was almost crying. Like say, hey, show me the all the bills. Why? Show me the all the bills. And I was like, why? Because he uh, it's because uh the 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 guy from the tacos reject me that bill because they say that it was fake. And I, oh my God, I, I can't believe it. And I, I, I couldn't believe it. Like, and we saw the, 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 the and we start uh see the, the, the bills, and everything was fake bills. Imagine two hundred dollars fake. That, 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 that happened to me like seven years ago when all the X was like, like a success, you know, because you can go to there and you can buy anything there. So, oh my God, that, that, I, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> and my yes. friend, it, it was, he was, he was, he still is my friend. And actually he's my best friend, but actually I like, oh my God, ni, ni modo, you know, it happens. If things happen, like in, in you that day. The, the uh, person? Yeah, we tried to contact her, but it, it, he has a fake account. He has like it, it's people. It's like I say before that it's people that that take advantage of this kind of crisis. Uh, um, the a a hungry, a hungry. Omar. Yes, it, it's very expensive that the the um, what do you say? Mm. In USA is very cheap. The, the laptop, the computers. Yes. And the cell phone is is very cheap in other countries. Mm. Yes, because we don't we don't pay the taxes or the for the taxes or you know, uh, the shipping and the um, right, I guess it's flatness, I don't know. I'm not sure. The fleet. Fleet is not right freight. I okay. sorry. Yeah, fr freight is something else too. Yeah, that's similar. Okay, okay. Thank you. And the in the in the other ones, what is your experience to online? My experience, my experience is um is low, is low, is bad for buying in other countries is is zero zero um, and, and, and I explain explain uh, the for discovery me uh, for uh, buying in online uh, for the dis disadvantage um, and oh uh, only buying um, in El Salvador, really. But but what are the, the, the those disadvantages that you said about the disadvantage shopping? for me is is um, uh, um, uh, I don't know um, uh, the deaf the deaf mm -hmm. uh, the deaf the um, Como se dice fraude, no me recuerdo. Fraud. Yeah. Uh, in other uh, metals of the theft. <laughs> uh, yeah, in other yeah. Uh, yeah um, fishing yeah. or something like that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. In, uh, um, uh, in a buy online, uh, this is.
Okay, let's try to make sense of this. Um, I just took some phrases you were saying. Um, let's see, a volunteer, someone to read the first sentence. Can you see it? Yeah. Yes. How do you read this? I'm gonna make it bigger. I bought. I'm sorry. What? I bought a. Excellent. I bought a. Uh huh. Be careful. Don't say I bought a or I bought a. Say I bought a. I bought a. I bought a pair of shoes. I bought a pair of shoes. I bought an item. I bought an item from eBay. I bought a pair of shoes. I bought some jeans, that's different. I bought a shirt, I bought some glasses. Some for plurals uh, and for singulars, right? I bought, a, I bought a, what about the next one? How do you read it? I tried it. Alexander, good, I tried it, tried it, tried it. I tried to tell you, I tried to tell you. I tried to place the order and it didn't work. I tried it. I tried it. Tried it. Okay. I tried to go, but I was not able to. Okay. Okay. In this moment, I feel nervous. Now, what's wrong with this sentence? Mm, can be in at that. this moment. And, uh -huh, in that. I'm nervous. Yeah, this is something that many of you are doing I, in this moment mm, what if at, at that moment at that moment you're narrating i felt past. nervous uh -huh. at that moment i felt nervous okay i report that credit card in past two uh -huh. i reported i reported that credit card to the bank I report it. I report it. Now the next one. Always try to find, and this is this is what I've been telling all of you um, in every session, one on ones. Uh, today I'm staying with Edwin, with Irwin. I'm sorry, with Irwin. Really? Yeah, I know. It's a very nice screen. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. This is what I have been telling you. Always try to find a synonym phrase, the shortest possible way. If you can use an idiom, if you can use a phrasal verb, try to do it. Try to try to do it. The money that I had was enough to cover the payment. Proper grammar, yes, I would have said, I would have said, I knew I could afford the purchase with the current balance at that moment. Or simply, I knew I had enough money. I knew I had enough. I knew I had enough. It's in the context, right? There are many ways. Okay, next, the bank make extra charge about this. Can somebody paraphrase this sentence in a different way? The bank make is in past too. Bank make. Excellent, okay. The bank made. An extra. Excellent, the article. An extra charge. Hmm, about this. Mm, what about about that? Mm. Mm. No, no. Mm. What is what is the speak what is the speaker referring to? A purchase. Something else, but of course. Mm. The bank made an extra charge. That preposition about is not pro appropriate there. So the bank made an extra charge to me. Not to you. To that. It said. It what said about my this. Card. Uh huh. On my credit card, or because, or due to that purchase, or due to that purchase, whatever. Okay. But about this is not proper. I prefer go to physical store. Mm, correct the sentence. 
You prefer to go? I prefer to. I prefer to go. I prefer to go to. I prefer to go to a physical to a physical store, right? I prefer to go to a physical store. I prefer to go to a physical store. I prefer to go to a physical store. Sounds better. Okay. For that reason, I don't like to buy for that platform. Mm. The reason why. Excellent. I repeat. The reason why. No, you were. I heard you said that. The reason. That is the reason. That's the yeah. reason why. That's the reason why I don't like. That's the reason why I don't like. Try to repeat. That's the reason why I don't like to buy for that platform. On that. From that platform. On that platform. Okay. Prepositions. Okay. That's the reason why I don't like to buy from that platform. That's the reason why I don't like to buy on that platform. That's the reason why I don't like. That's the reason why I don't like. That's the reason why I don't like. If you don't know how to pronounce something, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it until you make it. Next, I love that shoes. Those. Those. <laughs> I love those of shoes. Those? Pair of okay. shoes. Those. Pair of shoes. Shoe pair. Those shoes pair. Mm. Mm, I guess it's for I know that the pair of right shoes. Now. Yeah, you're right, Josie. I love those pair of shoes. Okay. Okay. I don't see any type of shoes in the country. Mm, always referring to the shoes. We were talking in past, right? About an experience. What do you use when you talk about an experience in the past? I didn't. I would like to. Mm. I haven't. I Excellent. Haven't I haven't seen. I haven't. I've never seen. I've never seen. Good. I haven't seen any type, any shoes. Any like. pair of shoes like those in the country. I haven't seen any shoes like those in the country. Or I have never. In our country. I have never seen, I have never seen any shoes like those in the country, in our country, in this country. Okay. I have to bought a stove. Come on. Correct, correct. I Thank must you. have. Or I, had, I had pass, pass of uh -huh, uh -huh. I had to buy. buy. Yes. Come on, guys. I had to buy stuff. Okay. I decide visited physical store. I decided to visit a physical store. You got it. I decided to visit. A ah, physical store. I decided to visit a physical. Uh, I decided to visit a physical store. I decided to visit a physical store. I decided to visit a physical store. Visit a visit a visit a. <laughs> That's the way you improve your English. Just repeat. Try to contract the articulation, and you will be doing awesome. Next, but I prefer. I saw the item in physical. What? I prefer to see. Uh-huh, still. So I preferred we oui. I preferred to see so I will the prefer item in physical. To... Uh, remember you're narrating in past, right? So I preferred I to see the item in physical. Okay. Next, I saw the announce in Oil X. I watch it. Mm, no, the verb is okay. I saw an ad. Uh -huh. I, have seen. I saw the ad or an ad. I saw the ad in OLX. In OLX? On. On. On OLX, yeah. Oh. I saw the ad on OLX. No, on OLX, that's the name. She told me she will buy me my phone in $200. 
she told me she will buy my phone in two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Will and still good? Mm, no, it's not the model is not the problem. She told me she will buy my phone in two hundred dollars. She told me that. She told me that. Let me give you a clue. Why did I write that sentence? It's just a preposition. What other preposition should you use? Four. Uh-huh. Perfect. Four. You buy something for X amount of money. How much did he, did you buy it for? How much did you get it for? How much did you get it for? $200. Oh, for 200. It was 200. Easy. Okay, we can meet you in the gas station. He was narrating. This person was narrating. We can meet you in the gas station. My friend says to me, <gasps> reported speech. My friend says to me. My friend said to me. <clears throat> what is the verb that you use for direct speech when you mm -hmm. tell someone? I said it. <laughs> it's talking about supposedly in the future we could meet you in the gas at the gas station because it's about a place too. He was narrating again. My friend said, you know, we can meet you told me. in the gas station. My friend told me. Oh, be careful with this. Told to me. Uh uh. Told me. My friend told me. We can meet you in the gas station, my friend told me. Okay. I count the money. Come on, intermediate five. I counted. I counted the money. I counted the money. Counted, counted. I counted the money. Okay. Fake money. Another way of saying fake money, you can say counterfeited money. Counterfeited money. In the financial business, you say counterfeited money. Okay. That's illegal money. Counterfeited, not real money. In a buy online. On a purchase. Purchase. Okay. I got it on a in a purchase online or in on a purchase online? On a purchase. On a purchase online. Mm. I got it in a purchase online. I bought it in a purchase online. On a purchase. Yeah, on on a purchase online. Man, it's so easy to make a little mistake, you know, that will damage your grammar indefinitely. Just be careful with that, okay? <clears throat> what time is it? It's nine o'clock in what on a Wednesday? Is it Wednesday today? Yeah. Okay, let's 904. Let me do the attendance again. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Oh. Hold on. Oh God, I missed it. And it's not taking it. Okay. Bear with me just a minute. Wednesday, okay. Okay, Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Erika Beatriz López Morales. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present teacher. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here teacher. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Present. Excelente. Eimos Alfredo García Granadino. Present. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Estefanía Carolina Reyes Sánchez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Sandra Carolina Reyes Sánchez. I'm sorry, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. My eyes. <laughs> Present. Thank you. I knew I had forgotten you. Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. I'm here. 
Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Roberto Luis Humaño Orellana. Okay. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno Hernández. Present. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Present. Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. And Thelma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present. Hey, we're just missing Andres tonight. Great job, guys. Woo. Please try to turn on your cameras. Don't forget, especially when we do the attendance because InsaForb always audits this specific part, the attendance part, and they want to see your face when I say your name. They are very attentive, you know, checking your face. They go to your registration and they go, okay, no, that's not the person that registered on the course. <gasps> and she's taking the course. Oh my God. Okay, what's going on here? See? It's important. Okay, there are a few exceptions on the class, of course. I understand one of your classmates, for example, is driving all the time, so he couldn't turn on the camera. Okay. Just a minute. What is this? Okay. Okay, let's skip it up. Okay, let's move on with your book. Uh, okay, we have to go with some shopping issues. Hold on, I missed it. Oh God, I missed it. Give me just a minute. Yeah, let's go to page 16. How to use reported speech. Hold on, with questions. That's today's topic. Couldn't find it. Hold on. Reported speech with yes and no questions. Okay, here we go. So we are on page 18 actually, so we can understand what is, hold on, I got lost on the book for some reason. Page 20. Uh -uh. Yeah, it's on page 20 is the grammar, but I'm looking at the introductory section, you know, and that's a reading. Yeah, I don't know why they do this when they plan 17. lessons. Yeah, we're on page 19, actually. First, we have a conversation, you know, um, and issues that you can experience when you buy online, which is what we were talking about. And then we have the reported speech. So let's go to page 19. There's a conversation. I'm going to share my screen right now with you. Excuse me. I don't know how I lost it. There we go. So this is page 19. Identify issues and tips related to hidden charges and delivery issues when shopping online. As we were saying, there could be many problems when you buy online, right? Shipping is one of them. How often do you buy products online where we talked about it? How expensive are shipping costs in your country? Hey, that's a good question. Have you ever traveled? Anybody has traveled and ordered something from that country? I mean, if I ship something from the United States to Mexico, do you think the shipping costs will be lower? Will it be cheaper? The, 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 the tax in other countries is, is, is different. And sending uh, another 
country. I, uh, I have a I have a cost on, on new cost new cost I, uh, of, of the imports. Uh, the importation taxes. Importation importing. Taxes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Importing yeah, taxes yeah. are more expensive. Taxes. Yeah, yeah, more more expensive. And the and the in the screen in the page, the, um, I have a, have a cost or have a price price, um, and the, the taxes and for importation import taxes, and uh, no no is it's no not is, uh, no, no 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 view no view in the screen the, the screen um and. In 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 something something case in in algunos, in algunos casos in some cases in some cases <laughs> in some cases okay you cannot see it in some cases uh, uh, that's what you're saying it's hidden taxes are hidden in the final cost the final price so if I import from Mexico uh, Erika is it cheaper or more expensive than importing something from the United States do you know um, in my work, uh, usually we import from uh, Japan, uh, China, uh, Austria. Austria. Uh, so, uh, yes, uh, from Mexico we we don't import. So what I don't know. It, but what is it more expensive, Japan, Austria, or the United States? Asia, Asia, Asia because it Asia. is. Huh? Asia. 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 Okay. From Asia is is expen is more expensive. Mm. Because the freight cost is is higher. It's over the sea. And yes, you have to move the 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 product uh, by vessel because uh, by air is more expensive. By ship. Okay. Ship. Okay, by sea actually, by sea. Hmm. But, it's, but it's depend, it depends the, the the currency has changed. It, it depends depend every every money. For example, euro is euro, different. The euro? Exchange, exchange euros, yes, is is different exchange Great. to dollars. Yes, we, we buy in, in, in euros and in dollars and but I think the important thing is the is the the distance, the distance. Distance. Uh -huh. Yes, because if the product come from Asia, Asia is Asia, <laughs> Asia, Asia, Asia is is. It's more expensive. It's more expensive because the the distance is larger. It's larger, yeah. It's longer, it's longer, it's longer, it's longer. longer, it's a longer distance. Yeah, definitely. I mean, shipping, it's always more expensive. It's like buying an airplane ticket, you know, an airline ticket. Um, it all depends where you're going to. And the longer the distance, the more expensive the trip sometimes. The type of the product. So, because if you move a product uh, that is small, you can move by air. And the, in the cost is cheaper. Mm -hmm. If you move a smaller product, if you're transporting, if you're shipping, transporting, okay, a smaller product, then the cost is lower. It all, you know, it's, it, yeah, you have to think about the uh, mean of transportation that you're going to use depending on what you're importing or exporting. Okay, so let's see, Alan is reporting some questions, a customer, Alan is reporting some questions a customer who's visiting their website is asking. Alan is reporting some questions a customer who's visiting their website is asking. Read the conversation to find out the answers Maria suggests. Take turns, take turns, practice in the conversation with a partner. So let's see. <clears throat> There's this customer in the online store asking a lot of questions about the decorative pillows. 
what will the customer like to know about the product? Well, the customer asked if the shipping was for free. And then this same person posted a different question. They asked whether the pillows were made in China or America. And finally, the customer asked if we have a return policy. Let the customer know that international shipping has an extra cost and tell them the pillows were made in China and please post a link in the comments to the return policy document. Any new words? Weird words? You need repetition. Yes, please. What? Which one, Frank? The last paragraph. Last paragraph. Yes. Let, the, let the customer know that international shipping has an extra cost and tell them the pillows were made in China. And please post a link in the comments to the return policy document. So it's just a link, you click on it and it takes you to the return policy document. Okay. Let's practice just for five, 10 minutes um, alone with your classmates. We come back, I'll select one or two of you to repeat the conversation, the role play. Change roles with your classmates, okay? And remember, it's not about how fast you read, but how good you articulate, okay? That's the important part. Not fast. Let's go. Eighteen. Yeah. Yeah, nineteen. I'm going to share. Okay, uh, I I will start. Okay. I will yeah. be Alan. Okay, there is this customer in the online store asking a lot of questions about the, the, the correct pilot. Okay. What will the customer like to know about the product? Well, the customer asked if they, the shipping was for free. And then this same, this same person posed a different questions. They asked, whether the pilots were ma made it in China of, or America. And finally, the customer asks if we have return policy. Let the customer know that international shipping has an extra cost and tell them the pillows were made in China and please post a link in the comments to the return policy document. Uh, we can switch now. Uh, I am yes. Alan and you are Maria. Okay. Uh, there the there is this customer in the online store asking a lot of questions about the decorative pillows. What will the customer like to know about the product? Well, the customer asked if the shipping was for free. And then the same person posed a different question. They asked whether the pillows were made in China or America. And finally, the customer asked if we have a return policy. 
Let the customer know that international shipping has an extra cost and tell them the pilots were made in China and please post a link in the comments to return the pilot to the document. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now, Josue and William. You want to start, William? Dale. Okay. Juan. Hi, teacher. We have a doubt. The exercise is in the page 19 or 17? Uh, 19 is on your WhatsApp group, too. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Who's the next? Yeah. Mio, right? Look, it's been on me. And... Um, Alexander, right? Yeah. Okay. For Ola. Okay. Maria. Okay. There is this customer in the online store asking a lot of questions about the decorative pilots. What would the customer like to know about the product? Well, the customer asked if the shipping was for free. And then this same person posed a different question. They asked whether the pilots were made in China or America. And finally, the consumer asked if we have a return policy. Let the customer know that international shipping has an extra cost and tell them the pillow were made in China. And please post a link in the comments to the, to the return policy policy document. Teacher, how is the correct meaning? Policy, policy. policy. Thank you. The written policy document. Okay, I start with Alan. Okay, I'm going to be Maria. Okay. There is the customer. You? Yes. Okay. There's this customer in the online store asking a lot of questions about the decorative pillows. What would the customer like to know about the product? Well, the customer asked if the shipping was for free and then the same person posted a different question. They asked whether the pillows were made in China or America. And finally, the customer asked if we have a return policy. Let the customer know that the international CP has an extra cost and tell them the pilots were made in China. And please post a link in the comment to the to the return the police document. Okay, I don't know if he... return policy. Yeah, the re return to policy. The return policy document policy. Uh, uh, this time I will be Maria. I will be Alan. Okay. I will start. There is this customer in the online store asking a lot of questions about the decorative pillow. What would the customer like to know about the product? Well, the customer asked if the shipping was for free. And then the same person posed a different question. They asked whether the pillows were made in China or America. And finally, the customer asked if we have a return policy. Uh, let the customer know that international shipping has an extra cost and tell them the pillows were made in China. And please post a link in the comments to the return policy document. Okay. Well. Teacher, uh, which is the correct way to pronounce posted or 
Busted. 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 Okay, thank you. Can I? Okay, I think we're back. Good, let's continue. Uh, oh, before that, I took notes of some words that you should be saying correctly at this point. So, for example, is not question or questions. Mm, be careful, you say questions, questions, question, questions questions question questions okay answer mm -mm. Answer. answer 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 what's the answer to that question what's the answer to that question question right now just try to say shen question do you have any questions eventually it will sound like shuns okay but shh shh sh that's important next pillow Pillow. pillow. Yeah, many pillow. of you were saying pillow, pillow, no, pillow. I like your pillow, pillow, pillow. Okay, asked, asked, asked. 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 Okay, this is the third, no, 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 that's the first rule of pronunciation. Okay, when there's no sound on a base verb, regular verbs, base form. There's no sound, no vibration on your mouth. Then you just add the ed and it sounds like t -t -t -t, asked, asked. Next, again, it's not chipping, is? Sh shipping. What's the shipping? Okay. Hope you got it. Let's go with the grammar for tonight. On page 20, we're going to talk, if you noticed, uh, well, really quick, is the shipping for free? No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. Are the pillows made in China or America? China. Okay. And do you have a return policy? Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Really quick, uh, grammar. How do you answer questions um, introduced by if or whether, you know, using reported speech? The examples are very clear. You just have to be careful with the grammar tense that you're using. So when reporting things that other people say, as we have been talked about or asked, the verb tense often shifts back. The verb tense often shifts back. What do you understand by shift back? Reverse. Okay. With yes, no questions. This type of question is reported by using ask or want to know if, whether, and then the clause, how. Let's look at the example so you can understand this. So in this example, if you have a simple present question, you reply on reported speech with simple past. So look at the example. Is there a special discount for this product? Simple present. So I have to ask, I mean, to report 
in past. The customer asked whether there was a special discount for the product. Instead of whether, I can use if as well. The customer asked if there was a special discount for the product. Again, you're reporting what someone asked. Okay, in simple present, you asked in past. Mm -hmm. Jocelyn, is it raining right now? Can you report to Fernando what I asked? No, it's not. <laughs> Use reported speech with Fernando. Okay, just let me just create. No, I just said, okay, Jocelyn, is it raining right now? This is present. Fernando, mm -hmm. is it raining right now? Mm -mm. Fernando, use reported speech. The teacher asked. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, the teacher asked, is it raining right now? Uh-huh, exactly. Now, be careful with something. Do you notice? This is not a question anymore. It's reported speech. You're reporting what I said. So, is it raining right now? The teacher asked. If it, if, it, if it was raining right now. The teacher asked if it was raining right now. Okay, uh, let's mm. go with it. You got it? Uh -huh. El teacher preguntó si estaba lloviendo ahorita. Oh, same thing. Same thing is in Spanish. Um, Judy. Is Suleima happy? Uh, the teacher asked if 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 Suleyma is happy. Oh, if Suleyma was happy. Was happy. Was happy. Excellent. Sorry. Teacher asked if Suleyma was happy. What if you were reporting to Suleyma? Hey, Suleyma. The teacher asked if you were happy. The teacher asked if you were happy. Now, uh, do you know this? When you use if, you can use where indistinctly. You know, you can use it with you, right? With he, with I, if I were happy. The teacher asked if I were happy, Suleyma will say, hey, the teacher asked if I were happy, if I was happy. It's okay. Questions? Simple present, simple past. No? Okay. Look at the second example. Can this be purchased in the United in the UK, United Kingdom, or only in the US? Reported speech. The customers asked if the product could be purchased in the UK or only in the US. Teacher, why can and could? What is the past of can? Could. 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 Mm -hmm. Teacher, but it says if you we if we change the, the the sentence for for example the customer wants to know if the product could be totally it's the same. The customer wanted to know. <gasps> Once or wanted to know. Ah, want to know. Wanted to wanted know. To know. Wanted to know. Repeat the customer wanted to know. The customer wanted to know. Wanted to know. Wanted to know. Wanted, what? wanted to know. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. Hey. Contractions when you speak. Wanted to know. Sounds weird. Okay. So you say wanted to know. Literally. Wanted to know. Wanted to know. Wanted to know. Wanted to know. Okay. The customer wanted to know if the product could be purchased in the UK or only in the US. Always past when the sent when the question is in present, okay? Espero que todos sean ubicados, perdón que el español, pero quiero que estemos claros. Lo que estamos haciendo con el reported speech es pasar el chambre, o sea, decirle a alguien más, mira, fulano dijo tal cosa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Vamos a ir aterrizando. Eso es lo que acabamos de ver ahora. Let's see. Simple past, past perfect. Hmm. 
was I charged for the shipping? The customer asked if he had been charged for shipping. Mm -hmm. Me cobraron esto. El cliente preguntó si había sido cargado por el what? Por el envío. Okay. Literally. Was I charged for the shipping? So you answer with past perfect. The customer asked if he had been charged for the shipping. For shipping. Next example. Did the package arrive? The customer, look, Fernando, wanted to know whether the package had arrived or not. Had arrived or not. That is past perfect. It's not present perfect. Be careful. It's past perfect. Did we study past perfect? Do you remember? I, I don't remember teaching you the grammar for past perfect. Josie, do you remember? Yes, I guess it is a past perfect. Yes, we did. I, I think I mentioned you uh, when we were studying present perfect that all you have to do is play with this guy with the um, with the auxiliary, right? Instead of have, you have had. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wanted to know whether the package had arrived or not. So again, simple past, past perfect. Look at the next example. Will. What is will? When do you use will? Future. In future, but what is the difference between oh, going oh. to and will? Okay. Time. No, this is if you are sure the action. What do you use then for? If you are sure, what do you use for? Going to. Going to. So if you're not so sure, will. you just will. Don't forget that. So probability. Will the laptop be delivered on Monday? Okay. The customer inquired if the laptop will be delivered on Monday. The customer asked if the laptop would be delivered Okay, on Monday. Can be wanting to know too. The customer wanted to know if mm -hmm. the laptop will be delivered on Monday. Mm -hmm. Correct. Remember, you can start, you can change the, the opening clause. It could be asked, it could be wanted to know, it could be um, inquired. Okay. Will the shipping cost increase with premium delivery or not? The customer asked if the shipping cost will increase with the premium delivery. Can I say will be increased? Yeah. You could do that too. Yeah. Just don't forget. Hey, did you check the book that I sent you for models? My teacher asked uh, which at the book that he sent. <laughs> That's a good one. No, seriously. I hope you check the PDF that I sent on WhatsApp, okay? Don't forget, after a model, you have a base verb. It's very important. So, questions? Yeah. Teacher, mm -hmm, Doris. how to know uh, when you use uh, a uh, weather? That's optional. It's optional. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can use weather or if. If. Mm -hmm. You can use weather or if. For example, the customer asked whether the product will be purchased in the UK or only in the US. And and the exercising platform, uh, there are a, a question about the, the question with a bird, bird, bird do. In, oh, so if it is do? Do, uh huh. When, when you say do, in, where is a, a become a, a report of speech in, in this case? In simple past. Simple past. Uh -huh. Yeah, if it is do, it's simple present. And you move mm -hmm. it, simple past. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Questions, questions, questions. No questions. Okay. Let's do this together. I'm just, let me split you. Let's go on page five. I mean, on exercise five, page 20. You have six exercises. 
so you can practice with your classmates. Make sure the grammar is clear. This is page 20, exercise five. Let's get together right now. And there's, there are some notes on the chat. Wait a minute, I'm having an emergency. Oh, okay. Blanca, Blanca, are you okay? Yeah, okay, glad to hear. Okie dokie, let's go. Page 20, exercise five. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, we're gonna do exercise five. It says read the following questions left by customers in an online store. Rewrite each question in the reported speech using the examples in the box about a model. Okay. Is the item durable? Or the mm. customer asked. The customer if, asked. If there is. Uh, if the item if is durable. Is, if mm -hmm. the item. If the item uh, was. And the customer asked if the, the item, item was, durable. was durable. Exactly. Will the item be easy to use? Mm -hmm. The customer asked or want to know the customer want to know mm. wanted to know if the iron will, will be easy be, to use will be <laughs> easy to use The customer wanted to know if the item tree a wheel or wool. The, the customer inquire if the item be the item would be. Okay, check your check your book. What mm -hmm. is the grammar tense for number one? Is the item durable? What is the grammar tense? Is it simple present, past, future? What is it? Simple present. It's simple present. So we go to the first example. We need to respond using simple past. We need to use simple past in that example. Okay. The customer asked. The customer asked. Uh huh. Is yep. is the iron was durable? You got it. That's it. Follow the chart. Follow the chart. Okay. okay. Then the second. You can one. share. You can share your screen if you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is the next? Will the item be Will the item be easy, easy to, to use? use? Okay. Will the item? Will the item? Who, who make a question? The customer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the customer asked. A suggestion that I will do to you is just 
think about what is the grammar tense of each question. So number one, is the item durable? What's the grammar tense? Is it future, past, present? No, present. Simple present. Is present. So yeah, we yeah. could say, look at the first chart. So if the simple present is used on the question, you need to report it on simple past, right? Right. Oh, so yeah. will be yeah. the answer. The customers as the item was if, durable. Honey, if the item, the customer asked if the item yeah. was. If the item was durable. You got it. That's what mm -hmm. I'm saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Follow the chart. Okay, teacher, in this case, we use we use both conditional in this in this case. On the second example, will the item be easy to use? Correct, you need to use wood. Yeah. How do you do it? The customer inquired if the item will be easy to use. Perfect. You got it. <laughs> yes, on the on the platform. I need it. Oh, there's the teacher. <laughs> customer. Okay, customer. Hello, teacher. Hey. Actually, customer. we wanted, we wanted to know if the, the first one is correct or if it's correct or it's wrong. It's right. It's on the first chart, the first part of the chart, you have present simple, you move it to past simple. Is the item durable? The customer wanted to know or asked if the item was durable. Very good. What about number two, will? The customer asked. Mm hmm. Mm, let me see. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Girl, guys, what do you think? The customer asked. The customer asked if the item will be easy to use. Will be. Okay. Easy to use. Will be easy to use. You got it. Easy to use. Um, yeah, just follow the um, the chart. You got it. Is the item will be easy to use? And. Hmm. I remember yesterday you, you gave me an example for the platform that says that you, you told me that, um it said um he he asked if I live with my family. I think it was that and I wrote it, mark me wrong. I don't know if you have to 
put my, my new neighbor or David. Could be, yeah. That it may, did you mention the dimensions? The dimensions of the item. Did you mention the, the dimensions of the item? Did you mention, did you mention the dimensions the of the, dimensions of the item? <laughs> okay. And the customer has. Uh, I have that. I have a doubt with the, the, the second sentence. If we are using will, we, oh, we don't have to wood. change. Wood. For, for wood. For wood. But you said okay. you said wood. I heard. I thought okay. you had said wood. Yeah. You couldn't. But what you could do is use the editing. It's just that you have opened the student's book online. You should download the book so you can edit it with PDF. Okay. Devante mm -hmm. the have have covered for covering the oh. cost of the repairs. Mm -hmm. The customer okay. asked if if, <laughs> if had if the warranty if the warranty had covered had okay. covered the cost of the repairs. Okay. Teacher, we have a, a doubt with the number oh. four. Four. We resolved in, in this way. No, 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 I think it's, uh, yeah, 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 it's the four, sorry. Yeah, number four, okay, okay. We decide this, this answer. Um, the customer wanted to know if, the bottom shelf was wide enough to hold a printer. Is correct? Yeah, simple present, okay. simple past. Okay. You okay. got it. Thank you. Okay, I think we are finished. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Just because we changed the, uh -huh. the, the verb. Yes. Yeah. So just we have, we got it. Yes. But, Okay, we're almost done. Let me see, let me think, let me see. Luis, let's go with Luis. It's gonna go all the way to the bottom of your camera is off, I'm gonna choose you. Luis, I choose you. Luis Ernesto, Romero Arqueta. <laughs> Is the item durable? What would be the reported speech sentence? The customer asked if the item is durable. If the item is? Is durable. Mm, was yes, it was sorry. <laughs> was durable. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Someone I've never heard. Glenda. Glenda? Where's Glenda? Hi, teacher. Okay, Glenda Laura. Let's go with number two. Will the item be easy to use? I no, no la tengo completa. I don't have to complete. <laughs> have to complete it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, William. Will the item be easy to use? 
customer inquired if the item will be easy to use. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect, very good. Irwin, did you mention the dimensions of the item? Erwin, your microphone. I can do it, teacher. Hmm. Sure. Did you mention the dimensions of the item? So if I'm asking in past, I have to use what, guys? That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect, right? Still, we start with Erwin. Sure. The customer. Yeah. No. Friendly. Okay, let's help Erwin. One. One. I don't know. I had mentioned the dimension of the items. If you or if we. If we. It could be we, it could be you, right? If you had, but the important part is this. If you had mentioned mm -hmm. the dimensions of the item. Mm -hmm. The customer wanted to know if you had mentioned the dimensions of the item. Okay, well, we're going to leave it here. We're going to check this three uh, tomorrow. Don't forget to remind me. Just remind me to check these three answers tomorrow. We're missing two to ten. And I still have to do the attendance, but uh, I suggest you to check that chart, you know, each part of the chart so you can um, have this clear. It's not difficult. It's not difficult. And again, all you need to do is practice. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm staying with Erwin 10 minutes. Alexander mm -hmm. de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivia Soportillo. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good night. Good night. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Erika Beatriz Lopez Morales. Present. Good night. Good night. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Madeo Villacorta Chávez. Present. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. Present. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Present. Teacher. Amos Alfredo García Granadino. Present. Teacher. Thank you. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present. Teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present. Teacher. Good night. Good night. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Good night. Good night. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. Good night. Stefania Carolina Reyes Sanchez. Present. Good night. Good night. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good night. Good night. Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. I'm here. Have a good night. Good night. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno Hernández. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Present. Good night. Good night. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Good night. Thelma Clotilde Peña Martínez. I'm here, teacher. Care. Good night. Care and good, good rest. Okay. Same to you. Bye bye. Okay. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing great. What about you, Mr. Lagos? Uh, today is that week I have a problem. Yeah. I don't have my staff complete. Then I have to work. I have to work more than the general. More than usual. You're working more, more than, than usual. usual. Really? Yes. Why? Why is that? Uh, one. 
one, one, one person of the staff had COVID. Oh man, that is so common right now. Yes, yes, I don't know what, and I can do it. The my homework in my with, for you, I can do it. I didn't do it. My homework. Oh, the homework! You didn't do the yes. homework. Yes, sorry, teacher. Tomorrow I will do it in the morning or in the afternoon. So perfect. Yes, don't sorry. worry. Come on, you're you're blonde, you're white, you know, all you're missing is to speak English. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, I know, it's right now. Yeah. Uh, yes, now for me it's so important, but I try to to, to practice. Um, it, for, for me it's so important, but in class, when, when I began to receive the class, I can listen more English than the than the before time. In the previous time. The previous, okay. Yes, yes, yes. And I like to I, I try to study English. Only that week I have a problem. Only that week. Only that week. Yeah, I, I noticed. Well, I noticed. So, so how's your job doing? Well, uh, catch you. In the future, I want the future at the moment. Mm. Yeah. And you, teacher, how are you? I'm just dealing with some home chores, a lot of home chores. I had vacations, I was on vacations for 15 days. Well, 17 days actually. But man, I I I had to work more than working here, you know, on classes or in the call center. Okay, did you work in the call center? I'm um, already, yes. Since yesterday, I started working again in the call center at 5 a.m. At but, 5? At 5 too? Yeah. Tomorrow, I have to work from 5 a.m. to 12.30. Ah, perfect. Mm -hmm. Interesting. In the, in the call center. Yeah, and then at 12.30, I have lunch. And then I start working in the the golf, you know, on the car. Okay. And yeah. you work in your house. Yeah. Yes, it's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting work in the house. Yeah, yeah it's interesting. Yeah. Actually, I, I'll be visiting your your facilities very soon because I broke one of the headlights. You know, the headlights of the car. Yes, I know. And and it was glass. Yes. They were they were hella, you know hella. Yeah, I know. It's just, uh, so expensive. It was made in Germany, Irwin. Oh, it's so expensive. I'm so. Oh my god. You can find it. I mean, I could find it. I could find it, but I'm considering. I want to speak with Ever or Elmer. Yeah. Ever, right? Ever. Uh, yeah, I want to talk to Ever to see if he has this this uh, sort of headlights. LED headlights. What do you think? What do you think? Should, should, I should I install LED headlights or? No, no. No, right? Uh, no. I, <laughs> for me, I, I, I think that um, okay, LED is a good. So it's, it's at that moment you can find LED. With the, the hot is less hot in the, in the, in the, in the light. Mm. Just in the less hot in the light. You mean if I install LED lights on the glass yes, it's headlight? Perfect. Yes, it's, it's better. It's no, no problem. Only, only you have to change the, the connection. Only that. Yeah, yeah. And it yes. was, it's H4. Yes, only it's, that. It's, it's H4, so there's no yes, problem. That's it. For me, if it's you, it's you car, I will try to, to, to convert it to the LED. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had a LED, LED lights, but the the headlight. Yes, like, yes, you can change I mean, by LED. Yes, uh, no man, problem. you know, I I opened one of the headlights, the right side. Yes. I opened it because it, it Oops, was so problem. No, it was how do you say this? Uh, rusty. It had it. There yes. was rust inside the metal, yes. so yes. I opened it. I was good. I heat it up. Yes. I hit it up and I open it. 
this. Then the second one, I was very patient. You know, I hit it up yeah. a lot. I try to go slowly and then this. I was like, no. Oh, no. Like, oh, yeah. oh, sorry, teacher. Broken. Yeah. I was broken. The glass was broken. So I was, man, oh, so I was so sad. So for you. They're like $75 each. Yes. I mean, new, of course, new. Yes. But I'm sure, I'm sure I can find them, you know. But in the different color with the change, changing the, in the, in the year. Mm, really? Yes. So that is why one of them looked like yellowish and the other one was transparent. Yes. And the transparent one is the one that I broke. Yes. Oh my God. Oh, anyway. So interesting. This is so no yeah. so problem. So yeah, problem. because I love the, the fact that it said made in Germany. I was yeah. like, be yeah, very no. careful. Yeah, I know. But anyway, things happen for a reason. So What's on your head for 2022? What's the plan? Uh, I bought uh, one home, uh, one house, and I I am the syndicate the documents uh, two weeks ago. Yeah. The furniture? You moved everything? No, no. it's an other house. Uh -huh. Other house. Other house. Uh, it's an old house with a, they have a problem with the house because they have to build it, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I will try, I will try, I will try to build in two apartments. Mm -hmm. To the part, to the apartment, yeah. To apartments, to apartments, apartments yeah, uh -huh. to apart, apartments, yes. and, and rent them. And rent, after the rent. But it's a small problem, oops. But it's not so problem. Uh, today in the afternoon, I visited the, the, the house. It's a big house, uh, but where is it? Uh, I near a uh, central the gobierno. Yeah, it's a it's a good house, but the house had a problem. First, was a house. Second was a company. Mm. Yeah, they changed all the house. They changed all the house. The whole house they built or yes, it's so problem. And, so much trouble. and now because the, the, the house is so expensive and it's mm. yeah, I I think maybe that I will change the house for two will be a two apartments. Two apartment house. Yes. Are you going? You could use tabla roca, right? No, it's no? a problem because if you have a, a tabla roca. This is this is material. This is material. It's good for you can change. You can put the. You can uh, build it with the, the with the and the divisions and the yeah. division. But for the bank, don't have a price. Yeah, that's true. But it's, I have to build it. But in the future, I will. I am old. I am fifty years old. I will my my builder in that year. I will have fifty years old. I have to think in the future. I will have to sell that house in the future. Yes. What about kids? Um, yeah, only that. <laughs> only that. And uh, I will. This is a good play, but uh, my my business. The 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 laminate plus the battery is good it's so easy but when you you have to make the building it's a soft problem. Don't worry, be I, positive. Oh, in that, positive. In that, yes, it's possible. In that week, I had a I had a problem because my, I had one problem with my with my employer. Is it how pronounced? Employee. Your employees. Yes, one employee, one employee. Uh -huh. One employee. He's, he's sick. Um, I have my, my the engineer because I went to I will I I spoke with one friend. My friend is Carlos Eren. He is engineer and he is sick too with COVID. 
Man, that's at least 15 so, days. So difficult. Okay, well, stay safe. Stay safe and be careful, okay? Nice yes. talking to you. I'll see you tomorrow. Please don't miss your class and yes, you can text yes, me. Okay. Take Thank care. Good, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.